From blaming an alleged abuse on ancient spirits to Guamanians preserving Guam's culture, there was much to talk about this week. We've got it all covered. Here's Trend Spotting. It started as a social media post that went viral. A Wedding Gale Elementary School parent alleging her son stood in the hot sun for 40 minutes on Wednesday. Cassie Duenas' understanding of the situation was that students were being punished and denied water and bathroom breaks. Her son and two of his classmates were rushed to the Guam Regional Medical City. The Department of Education launched an investigation and a day later determined school officials did nothing wrong. DOE spokesperson Issa Baza told KU that the incident happened during a lunch break and the students became dehydrated while outside for an extra 10 minutes. All three students, she said, were treated by the school nurse and were wearing extra layers of clothing. The children did have the opportunity to drink water and use the restroom during the lunch period and before entering the classroom. DOE assures the community that student safety remains a top priority. But Duenas commented on our Facebook, I find it insane that DOE can investigate themselves and then clear themselves. J. Marie Cruz also spoke out saying, John Fernandez, further action should be required. No ifs, ands, or buts. Somewhere down the line, school personnel failed to make sure the kids were safe. David Anthony Wanako allegedly beat his girlfriend after a dispute about her infidelity. When questioned by the police, however, he reportedly told them Tautamona gave her the bruises. She is crazy. When it's family violence, you guys believe the chicks. Island residents made light of the excuse with a few of these comments. Don Rock said, well, that's original. DRM Babauta also comments, so I'm guessing he was expecting the witch doctor to come. And Roy Evans says, next time just ask for forgiveness. The couple is currently under arrest. In lighter news, there was a lot to be proud about this week on social media. A contingent from Guam took home various hardware at an international slingstone tournament held recently in Spain. Josiah Paris, Brandy J. Uggen, and Roman de la Cruz all came home with multiple trophies from the event and island residents expressed their congratulations on Instagram. Some of the comments read, Yes, much love to you all Guam people. Biba Chamorro, super proud of you guys, Chelu. Yay, congrats to all. And putting Guam on the map, Biba. On Monday, we also featured Taina, A Traditional Journey, a 30-minute special that documented the monumental effort to construct a 22-foot Chamorro double-haul canoe. The local seafaring group, Ulitao, completed the task, saying this is the first time in 400 years a canoe of this kind has been constructed in Guam. Guamanians alike showed their approval. Some of the comments on Instagram read, So proud of them. Amazing, great job, Biba Ulitao. These are just some of the popular stories on our social media. I'm Asha Robles with Trend Spotting, and don't forget, register your email for KUAM Digital Digest, our weekly newsletter that sends the top stories and biggest conversations each week in your inbox. You can sign up on our homepage, so remember to keep those likes, comments, engagements, and emojis coming, and we'll see you next week.